Hey, what's up guys? So we're gonna create a photo similar to this. And in so we're gonna do some light painting. We're gonna use a really, really common household object, a light pen. We're not gonna use the big fancy strobes. We're using iPhone and you can use any iPhone from probably 10 years ago, five to 10 years ago, old. And you can use an Olympus camera, Panasonic, or pretty much any camera. It's just a little bit more difficult if you don't have the Olympus or an iPhone. That being said, this is more of a creative endeavor to where we want to illustrate some creative ideas with common household objects. So we're going to break down this lighting setup. I'll list the items that we're using in this photo shoot and as we get going and moving forward. Anyway, guys, got questions, comments, write it down below and let's, let's get into this shoot.
Okay, so if you made it this far uh, and you sat through two exposures, uh, one was 10 minutes, the other was six minutes, sped up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you those photos along with another exposure. I didn't wanna put you guys through that. But the last one, the one you haven't seen is kind of my favorite. And with that light painting, it with a little small light source, it's kind of hard to tell versus big strobes. You can get it done. In fact, you can get a little bit more detail eked out of the subject if you do it correctly in that. So this isn't your traditional light painting where most on YouTube, they'll have a big orange light and they paint their name in, in the sky or something along those lines. This is very subtle. Again, we're gonna remove it to another level of abstraction by removing the color. So it's gonna be black and white. So it'll be a little bit even more difficult to tell um, how it was processed in that. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I mentioned, put it down, I'll answer it. And I hope to see you guys next week.